We have new details tonight as we continue to investigate the murder of rapper Young Dolph. Of course, he was gunned down almost a year ago at Makita's Cookies. And tonight, we're finding out more about now the third suspect arrested in this case, Hernandez Govan. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is joining us in our newsroom tonight. Dominique, Govan's daughter, she was also a rapper, but she was killed in Houston in September. Yes, yeah, she went by a lot of cash, Desto, but her real name, Destiny Govan. Houston police say the 25-year-old was shot and killed in Houston September 24th, early that morning. Investigators say Govan and her friend were in their vehicle, stopped behind a vehicle at a traffic light. Police say two men got out of the vehicle and started shooting at the women. We're told the passenger was also shot but survived her injuries. And Lotta Cash Desto was signed to Lil Uzi Vert. He spoke at her funeral. I had gotten some trouble and they put me away. And I had to, um, I had to go to a program and all that. I had to go to a um, rehab program and all that. She called me every day. Like every day. Like every day. Like even if she called to argue with me, she called me every day though. And that's what counted. Christian Williams was charged with her murder. About a month after the murder, Hernandez Govan posted on Facebook, I think I cursed you, Destiny, with my lifestyle. I apologize, baby. As we reported earlier, Govan has dozens of criminal charges in his past, ranging from drug possession to aggravated assault. Back to you. Thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Dominic Dillon reporting. Now, another man connected to this case is still on the run tonight. We're talking about Shundale Barnett. He was arrested in Indiana back in January, along with the murder suspect, Justin Johnson. Barnett was charged with being an accessory after the fact. Johnson was extradited from Indiana back to Shelby County, but Barnett was released. Still don't know why. Then in February, a warrant for first-degree murder was issued for him. Still not clear if that's connected to the Dolph case, but Barnett is still on the run tonight.